Hi and welcome to this tutorial. So I thought, why not after I made the train wheel rig, uh, I made a good old uh, Indian piston setup. So you can see how you can do this also. Uh, for this I'm going to use inverse kinematics and I'll show you in a minute why. Uh, what we're going for is the scene here. So today I've been modeling this pistons here and the shaft and so on all for you guys so I hope you'll enjoy this let's uh, pop over to model for a second and I'll show you here I have one layer here with the piston and I have placed uh, the center here at zero same goes here for this X here I put the top part here at the zero again and on the drive shaft here I modeled up using patches here and the center here is the center of the animation so I'll minimize this and I will load up my before scene so you can see how it looks reasons to draw no, like here we have the empty scene. So we are going to use inverse kinematics here for several reasons. First of all, for the technique for the setup, and second of all, for making it easier to setting up four of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change here to my view and going to wireframe mode so I can better see what I'm doing for the positions. So I'll add a null object here and I'll call this to link and I'll drag this down here to the center of this and then I will clone this and I will rename this to being my goal of the inverse kinematics. So the goal object I need to parent to my drive shaft here so I'll start by doing that. Oops, drive shaft like this so the goal is sitting on the drive shaft. This is the motion panel. Uh, I get this by pressing the M key and I'll go over here and I'll drag this around and I'll place it in the center here like this. Now what I need to do now is parent up this week here uh, backwards so I'll start by selecting the linger here and I will parent this to my connector which is this one here and my connector I will parent to my piston up here. So I will then go select this, go to frame 60 and I will rotate this say 720 like this and as you see this is rotating fine. So I will then go to select my linger here and I will tell this to goal for the goal object. And of course here full inverse kinematics, automatic on, so on. I will then have to go up here to my X here and I will need to set this to control the pitch axis here for inverse kinematics and for this piston here I will need to set the position for the Y ax to inverse kinematics and now if I turn around here, you see 
my piston is running. And the reason I did this the way with inverse kinematics here is first of all for the setup and second of all because now I can take the linker here uh, more the goal and clone the goal and then move this over here and drag it up like this I can clone it again, move it over here, clone this again, move it over here, like this. And they'll still be parented to the drive shaft here, so when they rotate, this is running. Then I can take the piston here, and I can go to clone hierarchy, and I will get the entire line the way down. So. I close hierarchy and I will select now linker number two and I will tell that to be the goal of goal two and I can then move piston two over here like this again the piston selected, clone hierarchy move it over like this and till the linker here which is now linker 3 to goal to goal 3 and Last but not least, clone hierarchy, move over, like this, drag down, till the linger to go to 4, and it will oops, jump down here, and bingo, we are done. Texture solids up here, and we can scroll now, and we are running. So that's how you could set up a piston set for an engine. So um, good luck, and I hope you enjoy.